Today I'm going to use Felt to create a super simple, minimal map of a single country. And I urge you to follow along. If you'd like to, you can pause this video, follow the link in the video description to set up a free account. So for the first step, I'm going to open up the layers library. You can do that by clicking on this little book icon in the top toolbar and then go over to the boundaries category and you'll find the country's data set right here. You can add that to your map simply by clicking on the plus icon. Now I'll close this. You can see I have this new layer right here. And as I toggle it on and off, indeed, I have this new layer of polygons of all the countries in the world. Now, I just want to have one individual country. So if I go over to the style editor, there is actually a filter tab right here. So if I click on this, this is where I can narrow this down. So I can click on add filter, and now it allows me to search all the different fields here. Now, if you'd like to take a look at all of your data, you can open up the data table right here, and there we go. I can also add filters down here in the table by clicking on a column right here. I can sort them as well. I can even change the name. So I definitely want to use this column here. And just to make it a little more easy, I'm going to rename it country. Now I can add the filter right here, or I can add it up here in the style editor, the filter tab of the style editor. And now I can just do the search for country, click here, and now it's going to give me these little check boxes for all the countries. And there's even a drop down menu for the different ways I can query it, but I'm fine with the default here. So actually, let me go back, grab this. And now let's say we want to do Brazil. So I'll just type in Brazil, tick the checkbox here and do done. Now I'll close the data table and voila, here is Brazil. Now we want to make this super minimal. So we want to get rid of the background and we want to get rid of the labels. So up here, you can click on the background button click on the overflow menu, and then let's just add a solid color, some kind of like white. Now I'll grab the layer again, go back to the style tab. Let's just go over here and turn off the stroke and set the color to none. And for the fill color, maybe we'll go with this preset gray right here. And to get rid of this label, I can just come down here to the label section and turn this off. Super duper easy. So there you have it, I already have my minimal map, but let's say we wanna go one step further and add a little bit of a texture here. So I've got this image file, I'm just gonna grab it, drag it and drop it directly on the map. So now I have this image, so I'm gonna like increase the size here. Let's quickly rotate it around. And now you can grab the opacity and just start to drag the opacity down. Maybe I'll bring it to somewhere between 30 and 50. And to zoom back in on my map, I'm just going to double click it. And there you go. Now I've got my minimal map with a nice little texture here. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow for more.